good way to start recording again. Too slowly. I can't seem to get the view of the line. There's the line there, see? See how much the moon's gone below the line? What time is it now? Can you tell me what time it is? 6.38 p.m. We started filming around 6.20, 6.20, so it's been about 15 minutes. So it'll be interesting to see if anybody actually captures this thing on a, a high-powered lens. That red dot is the top of the building for a satellite thing. Yeah, the red dot is part of that building satellite thing. Harry, it is. I got it on camera already. What we're looking for is something that's gray, not red. Yeah, you can see, oh, see this, the moon is getting more and more. So I'm not sure if it's because of the fog of the earth or because the asteroid is kind of kicking up space dust. You know, when something passes through and everything's all settled. And it, it's all matter up there. So when it shoots through it, it's going to be shoving stuff around. And I'm just hypothesis here. I really don't know what happens when an asteroid goes through. But I do know that we have matter. And I can't see one lousy star now. So I can't even see what's going on now. I can't even tell you. But I can safely assume since we've been here for the time frame that they said 626 is when it was coming by. I did capture that one little dot. So I'm hoping that's what it was. Oh, we've got a flashing light up here, which is just an airplane going to the right of the moon. I was hoping for some fireworks or something, you know, just to show, oh yeah, there's an asteroid. Boom, you know, <laughs> a little bit of fireworks, a little bit of fire in the sky. Wouldn't that be cool? No, maybe. Okay, so the moon has dropped considerably below my line of vision here. It's gone about one, two, three, four, four inches below the line up there. And it's, you notice that it's kind of, this is weird. It was bigger a few seconds ago. Now it's smaller. It's the same moon. I haven't changed my vision. But it's like it's gotten smaller and then it gets bigger and then it gets smaller. Maybe it's my eyes focusing. I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy. I was kind of hoping this thing would pass like right in front of us, you know, and block out the moon for a minute so you could see this great big like thing going in front of it and going across. Like that'd be cool to be able to actually see it like that where you could see it pass like in front of you. But I don't know how many people would like freak out about that. Okay. But this is the moon. It's got a big ring around it. Usually if you have a, a, a thick, thick ring around your moon, it means you're going to have moisture or rain or a bad storm within the next 12 to 24 hours. And as you can see, it was completely clear before this fog settled in. And now, see there, it's getting bigger. I swear it's getting bigger. <laughs> is it just me or is that moon getting bigger? Maybe it just looks it. Yeah, man on the moon. The man on the moon is smiling at us. No, it is true. His eyes, nose, mouth. Yeah, I know. It does look like eyes, nose, mouth. I remember about 20 years ago when I used to look at the moon, there would be like one crater on it. And now it's got like four or five. So sometimes I wonder if there isn't some sort of asteroids actually hitting the moon itself and, and making craters on it. You know? And it... it that's why it looks so different but you can see that it's getting quite closed by the the fog level is getting darker and darker and darker now I did say this asteroid could cause some very violent storms to the earth it does have a very strong gravitational pull and 
it is bigger than Earth. So I was thinking that maybe because it does have a gravitational pull and it's bigger than Earth, it could like sh actually draw some of our gravitation and, and like cause the Earth to go closer to the moon, which in turn would bring it closer to the sun, which would make our temperatures hotter. So we'll be able to tell by the data over the next six months or so to see whether or not that's true. I did predict that we would have some summery weather in November and that is coming true as well because we've had temperatures up to 15 degrees to tomorrow we're going up to 18 degrees here in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada, which is southern Ontario in Canada. We are close to Buffalo, New York and Fort Erie, uh, Niagara on the Lake, Niagara Falls and then to the west of us is Hamilton and Toronto. So we're in that jurisdiction there. But you can see that my moon is kind of fading away here thanks to the fog that's rolling in. So they did say we were going to get some fog, but it was supposed to be for Wednesday night, not Tuesday. So anyways, I'm going to wrap up our filming here because uh, this is almost 16 minutes. And I think my video time on YouTube is only like 15 minutes. So actually, I'll go for another four minutes and I have two 10 minute videos, part one, part two, right? So hopefully somebody got pictures of this asteroid. And this is an event that we won't see for another quite a few years. I think they said the next one isn't until 2025 or something like that. Maybe another 25 years from now, which would be more than 2025. Maybe it's 2038, 2039, something like that. But from what I can tell, I can't seem to pick anything up because of the fog level here. So, we'll just be signing off. This is the Idea Girl, Linda Randall, reporting live from St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada.